Hi, this is Dr. Eric Westman with another ADAPT Live. I'm going to uh, give you a little update on the uh, conferences. Let's see, Low Car Breckenridge just happened last weekend. Um, and then there's a conference coming up in Winchester, Virginia on March 24. I want to give you a little heads up about that too. Um, so the Low Carb Breckenridge Conference is put on by a Australian doctor, Rod Taylor, and a U.S. doctor, Jeff Gerber. And it was the biggest conference yet for Low Carb Breckenridge. Uh, there were over 300 people at the conference. And um, I can just say that it's uh, getting better every time. <laughs> um, the Gerber, Dr. Gerber and um, Dr. Taylor also arranged for continuing medical education at the conference, which um, is another draw to get more health professionals in, um, in the low carb uh, meeting uh, uh, education. So um, I would say one of the highlights of the conference was a presentation by Dr. Mark Kukazella. Uh, Dr. Mark is at a hospital in West Virginia and he just um, basically is getting just about everyone to do a low-carb uh, keto diet in that area. Um, he also helped to um, change his hospital uh, food so that people can get a low-carb diet at the hospital when they're on the inpatient ward, which is very unusual in the U.S. It's very hard to get low-carb foods to people in the hospital. It's uh, even kind of a, a terrible thing for people with diabetes who are being fed things like pancakes and all. But anyway, Mark is a very enthusiastic doctor. He, his um, first uh, um, uh, area of interest actually is running and he's also known as the barefoot doctor and um, I hope he'll be making it to West Virginia in Winchester. He said he would try to, uh, or Winchester, Virginia, he'd try to make it. It's pretty close to where his hospital is but um, so he was showing pictures of all the people in the hospital who had gone keto or low carb and losing weight um, and uh, all sorts of uh, uh, inspiring things like the Navy SEALs and other uh, Air Force um, uh, programs that are uh, in desperate need of getting people in shape and also um, having people lose weight now for the military. He's involved with that as well. So anyway, that was one of the talks I really liked was Dr. Mark Cazella's uh, talk uh, and if, um, Hopefully he'll make it to the Winchester event on March 24. Um, there are several engineers who are now wrapping their heads around the uh, low carb, high fat diet. Um, Ivor Cummins uh, and also um, uh, uh, a couple other Dave Feldman uh, engineers who are looking at cholesterol and how cholesterol affects the body. So there were some great talks about that as well. Um, another place where, you know, we, we've got great evidence that low carb, high fat fixes or, or really improves obesity and diabetes. And so now we're seeing talks in other medical issues like um, type 1 diabetes, for example. And there was a professor um, of pediatrics who was there giving a talk um, about the use of type 1 uh, uh, use of LCHF in type 1 diabetes and they're actually working with companies to um, uh, uh, use the continuous glucose monitors and insulin pumps uh, for the use of type 1 diabetes so that was pretty exciting too. Um, uh, there's always the um, balance between uh, looking at food quality and carb quantity uh, you know in my uh, teaching, I focus on the carbohydrate quantity uh, first, 
and then worrying about the food quality if you can. That's just kind of the pragmatic approach that works for most of my patients here in North Carolina. Um, then uh, Rob Wolf talked about the metabolic flexibility. Uh, Nina Teichwells talked about uh, the Nutrition Coalition and vegetable oils. Steve Finney talked about nutritional ketosis and inflammation. So I mean, those are kind of the, the highlights um, uh, from Low Carb Breckenridge. The, I guess another thing, you know, there's just a lot going on. Um, I interviewed um, Dr. Catherine Crofts, who is a, um, a scientist from New Zealand, and she looked at all of the insulin and blood sugar data from uh, Dr. Kraft, and she presented information there and is doing some research on insulin, whether you should check it and how you predict insulin resistance. So that, that's pretty nice. Um, I did uh, my first um, interview as the interviewer for dietdoctor.com. So hopefully that'll be used and not be left on the cutting room floor, as, as they say. Um, but that was fun to get to meet Dr. Crofts from New Zealand and um, a lot of great research going on there. Um, so um, I also traveled to Idaho for a, it wasn't a low carb uh, kind of conference, but it was a medical conference um, on uh, obesity treatment. And I met and gave talks with a friend of mine there, Alan Rader, he, who's an obesity medicine specialist in Idaho. Uh, so that was kind of fun. Uh, there, most of the doctors there, and I guess in the U.S. still are, are um, kind of, uh, how should I say, just uninformed about how good the lifestyle change and low-carb diet can be. So we handled a lot of questions just from very simple, you know, what can this kind of approach do for our patients with obesity and diabetes. Um, and uh, although there was one young doctor who came up and just wanted to thank me because he um, read some of the books and did some of the, watched some of the videos and um, so that it's nice to see that younger doctors especially are uh, getting the message and being a little more open to using a low carb high fat diet. Um, so um, I'm looking forward to going to West Virginia in a couple weekends. That's going to be March 24. In fact, it's so close to West Virginia. I keep saying West Virginia. It's actually Virginia. It's Winchester, Virginia. And I'll be there with Jackie Shoemaker and uh, Pavel Klein uh, talking about um, low carb nutrition and the ADAPT uh, program is ADAPT Your Life is actually helping to put on the conference there. So if you're in the area, please join us on Saturday, March 24. Um, that's about it in the update uh, from Low Carb Breckenridge and also um, uh, looking forward to the Winchester, Virginia meeting. Um, if you have any questions, let me know here um, or afterwards uh, you're watching, please uh, send some questions subscribe so you don't miss out on further videos and thanks to the ADAPT team for everything they're doing and bye for now.